Well, the year-long wait is almost over. The weigh-in is sometime today. But tomorrow, for the second time, Saul Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Triple G Golovkin will meet in a boxing ring. And as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. So a little context that you probably already know. This fight was supposed to happen back in May and Canelo tested positive for clenbuterol, <clears throat> which meant the fight to be delayed and pushed back into now in September. And because of this, some, some bad blood has developed between both participants. I think that when you combine that with the draw of the first fight that left a lot of people unsatisfied, a lot of people feeling that Triple G won, some people feeling Canelo won, but a lot of people feeling that one of the scorecards for Canelo was way too favorable. I think there's a th the belief and thought that both boxers in this bout are going to take more chances to, to score a knockout. However, I want you to remember this before, before thinking that's for sure going to happen. As human beings, we tend to avoid failure before seeking success. And it's possible that the second fight will play out very similarly to the first fight. I, I just want to put that out there. Now, I think if that does happen, because all the things that, ha all that has happened, all the politics, I think the judges are going to favor Triple G in that kind of fight. Now, I do think there's a possibility that Golovkin is going to start the, the first round of this fight with a little bit more urgency than he started the first fight with. Because the first fight he was a little tentative, you know, tried to be too much of a boxer, tried to be too cute, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. You know, I honestly, I honestly, I honestly think that both tri Triple G and Canelo have good boxing skills, but they're not the nimble boxers that they and their fan bases think they are. I think they're better you know, in the pocket, Canelo's a counter puncher. Triple G is a more aggressive guy. You know, they both have skills, both are tricks, but their forte is not being nimble. This is just my my opinion on 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 the on the matter. Um, but. I think the key to this fight is how fast Triple G starts. I think that the judges in this fight are going to favor the bold with all the buildup rather than the crafty. My personal opinion, if I had to put money on this fight, money that I did not want to lose, I would put on Triple G somehow, some way. Stoppage wouldn't surprise me, but I'm looking probably to a decision. Anyways, that's my take. As always, I'm curious in your take on, on what you think is going to happen. And as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you like this video, you like what I do here on Sports Talk with Troy, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And please hit that, no that bell notification button to be informed of the next Sports Talk with Troy video. And look forward to talking with you in the next video.